Hi, my name is Bates. I'm with Gallup Technology Group and on this video we're going to talk about setting up Duo on your cell phone for local or remote login using Duo two-factor authentication. The first step is to look for the welcome email that we sent to you. The email looks just like this and you want to open it on your computer. Do not open it on your cell phone, please. You will see soon why. On this email, besides this URL that you're going to have to click, there's also a couple of other pieces of information you want to pay attention to, like this YouTube video that explains what Duo is and some notes on the bottom. So make sure you read through it before you click on this link, please. Once you click on the link, the following screens will show up on your computer screen. You will have a new web page open up and that screen is going to show up. Just click on next. The next screen, choose Duo Mobile. On the next screen, type in your cell phone number and click on add phone number when you're done typing in your phone number. It has to be the 10 digit, meaning the area code and the seven digits after that. On the next screen, confirm that the number is correct and then proceed to download the Duo mobile app. You can find the links on that screen where you can click and download it from a web browser to push it to your phone from your computer or simply open the app store on your phone regardless if it's Android or Apple device you can download it and the next screen that pops up will be a QR code you will need that on the next section so after you downloaded the app this is what's gonna happen please excuse the horrible quality of those pictures this is a kind of crappy phone that we use just for screenshots like this. So when you download the app, the first screen on your cell phone you're going to see on the Duo app is the setup account or I have an existing account. You want to choose setup account. When you do, the next option will be to use a QR code or activation code. We're going to choose the, the QR code and that's when you're going to allow the phone to use the camera when the Duo app needs it. So you will have a pop-up, a security pop-up on your phone asking do you want to allow Duo to use the camera on your phone and you do have to because that's how we scan the QR code. And that's when we're going to go back and you will scan the QR code that is on your computer screen that we saw on the previous slide. Once you scan the QR code with the Duo app on your cell phone, the next screen will show up and tell you that you need to name your account. So just click on next. You will continue on your phone to name the account. Uh, in this example, we just call it Gallup Technology Group, but you can name it anything you want. For example, my office PC or my laptop or whatever it is that you want to call it. And once you're done, you're going to have the option to run a practice or you can just skip it if you've used Duo before. The next screen after the practice will be to allow notification. This is extremely important that you do allow that because it will make your life much easier down the road when you are trying to log in. Instead of having to manually open the Duo app every time you log into your computer, it will simply pop up on your notification area and will allow you to approve it from there. So once you allow notifications on your phone, you will be taken to the last screen telling you that um, you are... Uh, not running the backup so you can either enable the backups which I recommend these are the backups of the codes that you're going to accumulate on this app um, all you need is just a Google account or an iCloud account and um, it doesn't cost anything to do that so feel free to enable backups or you can just click on fix later you don't have to do that it's just recommended that you do in case you ever lose the phone and need to recover all of those codes instead of recreating them all from scratch on another phone so we're now going to go back to your computer and now on your computer this screen will show up automatically after you scan the QR code before just simply click on continue and you don't need to create any other way to log in so you can skip this for now we don't need the security key you'll get a confirmation that the setup is completed and this is the conclusion of setting up duo on your cell phone now that we have Duo set up on your cell phone and your account is all set up, your company will eventually tell us when we can actually deploy the Duo app on your computers. Once the app is installed in your computer, a couple of things will happen. The first one is you will not be able to use any PIN number to log into your computer or your fingerprints are not going to work anymore. You will be forced, unfortunately, due to Microsoft limitations, you will be forced to log in with your username, usually your email address, 
and your password, the actual real password, no longer the PIN number. So once the application has been deployed for your company and we notified you guys and your management has notified all the employees that Duo has been deployed or will be deployed, the first time you're going to log into your computer after you entered your username and full password, this screen will pop up on your computer screen. And it's going to ask, it's going to tell you that a message has been pushed to your device, as you can see on the bottom left. And at the same time on your cell phone, you're going to see this little pop up that allows you to approve that login or deny it. Once you click on approve, you will be asked to put in your fingerprint on your phone or the PIN number to, that secures your phone or what, whatever method you use to secure your phone. In case you don't do that on time, this screen on the left on your computer will be timing out and then it'll give you the option to either push another message to your cell phone or call you on the number that you provided during the setup of your Duo app on your phone or it's going to ask you to enter a passcode. The passcode is a code that will show up on your cell phone. We're going to talk about it in a second. For the very first time after you install Duo on your computer and went through the login, you will see this screen. This will only show up on the very first login. And what you want to do is click on activate now and a pop up on your computer screen will show up another QR code. What you need to do next is open your Duo app on your cell phone and click on the add option on the top. The next screen will give you the option to use a QR code and when you click on the use a QR code, the Duo app will open up with a camera to point towards the QR code. So what you're going to do is you're going to scan the QR code with a camera on your phone and it automatically will take you to this screen where you're going to see a six digit code that it will automatically refresh every 30 seconds or so. So then go back onto your computer. You will see this screen on your computer and you have to simply enter the six digit code that shows up on your cell phone. Click on activate offline login and that is all you have to do. One of the things you need to know is if you ever try to log into the computer from this point on and the computer has no internet connection, it will force you to put a six digit offline passcode. This is when you open the Duo app on your phone and you can see the name of the computer and the passcode that is available for you to type in. That's all we have for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us, www.click-911.com. Thank you very much.